Smile. <laughs> Why do you always tell me that with my life? Welcome back to another episode of House Into Home. Uh, again, apologies for the long wait. Things are things are busy, that's all. Uh, but we do have an interesting video for you today. Do you want to tell them what it's about? Bees. Bees. Honey. Honey bees. Not this honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, a while back, we had, I think, have we told them about the bees, the bees in the walls? Yeah, because we, didn't we post that on the gram? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. On the gram. You guys are missing out if you're not following us on the gram. It's, it's uh, House Into Home YT on Instagram. That stands for YouTube. That's right. Not a homey T. House Into Home ET. Y-E-T. What? Y-E-T. What do you mean E-T? You said ho House Into Home ET. Home ET. The, the way you read it is H O M E Y. Oh, I understand what you're saying. Tea. Oh, so it's like mine is vintage beefy tea. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we had this guy come over, remove uh, these bees. It was actually an interesting process, and yeah. um, we recorded a lot of it, if not almost all of it. So hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. So, rule number uno you can't kill honeybees no. because they are protected. Correct. Rule number two. Well, we wouldn't want to. We didn't want to kill the honeybees, regardless. We wanted to move. Them. I got stung in my back, and I was feeling a little vicious. That being <laughs> said, I took the high road. Did you get stung? I didn't get stung. It was a big guy, and it was a welt, and it was there for like two months. Remember? Yeah, it was actually. Okay. Yeah. Number two, maybe this is three. It <laughs> stunk. Oh yeah, it smelled like, like to me. It smelled like vinegar, um, but to you, it smelled like a dirty gym bag. Like yeah. I don't know if any of you guys have had like little brothers that played hockey, but like the smell in our front room literally smelled like when he would come home after hockey and he'd leave his bag inside, which is disgusting. Disclaimer, you either A, leave it outside or B, you leave it in the garage because it's gross. And it would smell so nasty, like sweat. And I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be a little brother. It could be a big brother. It could be a little sister or a big sister too. Y'all stink. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know what you do? You keep a little bit of, um, is it dryer sheets in your gym bag? Clearly none of your siblings ever played any sport. My sister didn't. No. not to help. Any, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Tips and tricks. If you know the smell that oh. I'm talking about. It's disgusting. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it smelled really, really bad, um, and mm -hmm. we were, it was just getting worse. It was getting bigger and bigger, the hive, and the smell was getting worse and worse, so we had to get them removed, so here is all of that uh, of that experience yeah from start to finish <laughs> fascinating yeah i'll show you some pictures of the other some of the other jobs i've done <laughs> sucks the air through here. I can control the flow mm -hmm. of, of the air through the vacuum just with this and uh, to the point where I can like pick up a piece of paper and drop it down. Wow. And then oh, here okay. there's a screen and so then all the bees come through the tube and, and get like stuck just in mm -hmm. here. And then this disperses the airflow throughout the entire box, so they actually don't feel any any like pressure or um, discomfort when they're in there. Yeah. Um, and then it's the same size as like the hive that I use, so I'll take some of that comb and I'll be able to put it right in, and I can stack it on top. And if I run into like a huge colony, I can add another box if I need to uh -huh. make space for more bees. Yeah. And then the tip of it is. Uh, is like a smaller tip of the, the vacuum, so then it's the venturi effect, so you have a high airflow at the beginning, and then they just kind of stumble in and, and come right in here. And my uh, survival rate is probably like 99 and a half percent. Sweet. 
it's awesome. So everything gets transported and then I can relocate them. I can take them right with me, like even in the car and mm -hmm. they'll be safe in there. So. honey everywhere like a heavy downpour of of honey just dripping out of that hive just be careful because i've got some twice now okay Honey, mm -hmm. but this would be nectar and they're just filling it up and when it's filled it'll be honey but they have to like dehydrate a certain amount of water out of it but I can just tell that it's like nothing's really coming out like it's all thick enough to mm -hmm. be honey um, you can eat that if you want including the combs yeah so it is like organic and technically edible um, <laughs> oh, look at me yeah but what you would do like what I do is I, I spit out the wax so I'll take a little like bite or, or a chunk and just keep in mind like how much honey is actually in here. Like a like a teaspoon worth would be like a teaspoon worth. Mm -hmm. So just as yeah. to control the sugar high, like some people eat <laughs> too much and then it becomes overwhelming. And then you squish it to the top of your, the roof of your mouth with your tongue and it'll just like Gush pop out. all the 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 honey out of it and then just like suck it dry like just mm. like keep on sucking until everything's gone and you can just spit out the wax wow that's pretty cool mm -hmm. this is organic and this Straight is from like my that's, that'll be the mouth. very freshest honey that there is because it's the furthest to the out like that's the smallest most like outwardly right comb that's that's the new stuff that they're just building um like this is backfill so this is all nectar that they're turning into honey this is honey here um, the, this is what's called capped brood. So in all of these little like capped parts, there's a, a baby bee that'll be born. Oh wow. Same as these, these are capped brood. Um, and then if you zoom in right here, you can actually see there's larva in there. So as soon as they get to be a certain age, they'll then go ahead and cap those. So this one's just starting to get capped. Um, and oh, as yeah. soon as these get to be that age, they'll cap that. And then when they're 21 days old, they'll emerge as a bee. Is it gonna climb right out? Yeah, but this, like, so it's not like an inch, like you want that baby to come out in two seconds. Like sometimes these come out in a minute or two. Sometimes it's like 20, 30 minutes. So th this one actually is like making really good progress. So I wouldn't be surprised like um, if it does, if it, if it comes out a little bit.
fanning herself in the sun like her wings aren't she's not able to fly yet this is going to be just like this you'll see a difference in in this bee's wings as opposed to the other wings and also the the like she'll look like she's fuzzy extremely fuzzy mm -hmm. wait till she comes right out and she's doing a good job There we go. So this is honey from your house, and I'm gonna need one, I need an assistant. Okay, you, you, you do it. Let me do it, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So we're gonna pull this over just a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna slip this here. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna hold this like this. Okay. And I'm gonna try to catch this without making a mess. Should we throw this so cardboard let's, underneath? Let's do that, just in case. All right, good stuff. So this is honey from your house. Wow. What? That's pretty cool. So I've built, like, this is a little miniature extraction that I've built that I can take to people's houses. And this will take a little while, but if it goes straight, it might, uh... It's pretty thick. So what's the purpose of uh, using the sieve? Like, it looks pretty uh, clean. Yeah, so you'll see like chunks in here though. That's mm -hmm. wax. So mm -hmm. this has like, I I'm able to filter out most of the honey here. Shoot, this is uh, oh, thick stuff. Be. Oh, I think it's, it's going through now. Yeah, I just want to see if it'll drain in one spot or if it's going to drain in a whole bunch and I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to make a mess, but oh no. <laughs> wouldn't have like oh it's pooling bowl. yeah just something like bigger you guys were in it so if it <laughs> makes a mess <laughs> like it's it's a mess you know i don't know what to tell you oh that's super cool oh my god it's going everywhere i lied don't move <laughs> there's a bowl here too okay i'm gonna put this underneath and we'll flip it I say it like it's no big deal, but let's be real, honey gets sticky. Yeah. Well, it is sticky. It doesn't get sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, I'd have uh, like a second um, bucket, and I can put this on it. I have a special like lid. I've just cut a hole in the lid so that this floats in it, and uh, it's good. I just, I, I mean, I could have actually given it to you right from here as well, mm -hmm. except that it's so much nicer when there's not little pieces. <laughs> chunks of wax yeah. floating in it. Can you eat the wax? Like, yeah, it doesn't hurt you or anything? Like, the piece that you guys took was actually probably like one of the nicest pieces that came out. So I'm glad that we yeah. just gave you that piece because oh, awesome. everything else was kind of crumbling in my hands. This is crazy. So this is good to eat, like, if we wanted to just... 100%, yeah. This is like the freshest honey that you'll ever have in your life. And, you know, when they say, like, Eat local. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is local. Yeah. This is as local as it comes. So inside gonna, the walls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna close this off now. So I collect uh, what I'll, what will I try to I don't get honey from every job that I do, mm -hmm. but I do from a lot of them. So what I do is is I take uh, um, one jar of honey and I give it to the client. And then I take one jar of honey and I keep it because at Christmas time I do a honey tasting competition oh. with every removal that I did from that year and uh, and plus the winner from the previous year. Okay. So it's just like it's a really cool thing because the colors are all so significantly different. Mm -hmm. The tastes are incredibly different. Um, it's really gold. Yeah. So what we're gonna do? This is beautiful. Is I'm gonna pull this up and then you're gonna lift this up and we're gonna try to put it in that bucket. And we'll just let the rest just re-drip in there. And these pull out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So then this wow, is like, <laughs> yeah. So then, and then the rest I'm gonna give to the bees because this time of year they need it more than anything. Yeah. So I'm gonna pour this and maybe I'll wipe this off real quick. Give me a second. Sure. Do you need mm -hmm. a towel or something? Or? I'm just gonna use the sink. Okay. Careful it doesn't get too close to the edge here. Oh my gosh, you know what all I'm thinking about is I want peanut butter and honey toast. <laughs> so I have a question, we all know honey is good for like a sore throat. Yeah. What else is it good for? 
health wise. Delicious. She's getting pregnant. Is it really? No, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> you, you were talking about it on the <laughs> Getting pregnant. Can you imagine um, you leave, I chug the bowl? <laughs> Go into like some crazy sugar coma? <laughs> no, folks, we're not trying to get pregnant just yet. We're trying to get married here. Married first. <laughs> and finish the house that we're living in. That is really cool. Bubba and Daisy are behind us licking their chomps. I know. <laughs> Can dogs have honey? I don't know. I, oh. Probably. It's like so high sugar content. <laughs> it is. We'll yeah, say I no. Wouldn't. So. All right, so what are you going to do with it? I'm going to eat it. Let's see. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? I'm going to play with it. It's gonna take a little bit, not too much. Let's see, is it on there? It's very yeah. sugary. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh. What does it taste like? Really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was your first initial? Like, really good. It smells like wax. Taste it before it drips. Really good. That's fantastic. Yeah. Actually. So every honey harvest that I do is like so different mm -hmm. because it comes out like even like, you know how much, well I was trying to explain how much your colonies change in two weeks, mm -hmm. but in two weeks the forage is also changed. And so depending on when you take out the like the honey, if there is any honey. Um, that changes like the taste well, and the stuff. the color. Hmm. I've got, I've got honeys that are almost like they're so clear that it's it's almost like white like it, really you can almost see through it this is like really really, really yellow yeah like i wouldn't even call this gold i would say yellow. gold's like a more brown like this is like a vibrant yellow um i've taken out honeys that are almost black they're like yeah. in a buckwheat area what does that taste like sweeter i don't know um just different I'm not too sure right yeah if we have uh that's really good. Yeah, if we have our oldie bowl. Try, try it. Tell us what you think this one tastes like. Right. I did try a little bit, but I, I, it's, I have honey all over the place, like always <laughs> on me, so I get like sick of it so quick. I bet. I apologize. It's good. It's got like a pungent taste, and then it's also like subtle and sharp, like ap like a sharp initial taste, and then a subtle aftertaste. So it almost reminds me of something that store bought. Yeah. So like, this is still warm, which is cool. Like, it's very <laughs> from yeah, like, it. like from it's the hive. like like literally just hours ago, but it's still it's still even like warm from there. I wouldn't put it in the fridge. Did you get that, folks? Straight out of the bees udders. <laughs> <laughs> we milk those bees. So that's it. That was the whole experience. It was interesting. Do you all feel sweeter after watching that? Oh my god. <laughs> I will not blame you for turning the video off right now. Oh, come on. Why? Because it's over? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of over. Tell us what your favorite part was because there were so many cool little like yeah. segments. Like the birthing. I think birthing, honestly right. of the entire experience. I don't know if that's really weird, but definitely watching a bee like pop Emerge, out of a thing yeah. in front of you, in yeah. front of a honeycomb. That was pretty cool. Pretty My wild. favorite part was we literally ate honey that was made in our walls yeah that was cool and a shout out to the number uno number uno numero, numero uno is that numero uno numero is uno. number one number shout one. out to numero uno number one the tapers <laughs> <laughs> numero uno number one <laughs> they actually also were like the first people to, to try really try they used it in their tea their peppermint tea. And they loved it. Yeah, because when I got them peppermint tea, I was like, oh, would you guys like to put anything in it? I can't remember if we had the discussion of milk or sugar or whatever, but I always put honey in mine. So I was they like, oh, honey. do you want to try some honey? FYI, yeah. this is from like our house. And I think they thought that was pretty cool too. Yeah, and they really liked it. So yeah. anyway, it was all, it was a really cool, interesting experience. Uh, expensive experience, but interesting experience. Yeah, it is crazy. The bees now have, he sent, uh, Derek has since sent me uh, some pictures and he found the queen and he says that the beers, bees are doing great so that's awesome which is to super hear. cool yeah so yeah hope you enjoyed the video Save the planet yes also follow us on instagram we post <laughs> a lot more on instagram than we do on youtube uh, and we apologize for the lack of videos but we'll try our new year's resolution maybe as a channel to post more what do you think He's teaching me how to edit. Yes, so my plate is full. <laughs> so she's learning how to edit videos uh, little by little, so you gotta be a little bit more patient. 
I'm busy too, but yeah. I feel like it's yeah. probably difficult when you also sit in front of a screen all day and edit and mm -hmm. then trying to manage something else. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of the same thing. It is a lot of the same thing. So it's challenging. So I'm learning how to edit. So that way between the two of us combined, hopefully we can start popping off uh, more videos. Vids. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to click the like button and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.